So we're looking at henbit. Now henbit can sometimes be also considered ground ivy. Henbit is really different. You have to be uh, careful about how much of it you use because your body has to build up to uh, accepting it. So the best thing to use henbit for is if baby hives, uh, when babies get the hives when they're little, when they're first born, and it's really good for sinuses and allergies. But remember, this one has some high tansins in it, so you wanna be careful in your use. You can steep it and you can also dry it and make a smolder, like burn it, so it'll help clear up congestion. Kinda like a smudge. Sinuses. Like a, you could use it as a smudge as well. But let's say you took and you gathered several of these and you know, like you can make you a beautiful little wrap, just like, cause the rest of that's gonna keep growing. And say we have, and you can smell it. You can smell this, this uh, minty smell. Mm. So that lets you know that it has a type of menthol to it. And what you can do is when you make your smudges or anything, you could take one of the plants and, and maybe find the longer one and wrap it around them. Awesome. And then let them dry and they look very beautiful that way. And just keep wrapping them till they get real tight and let them dry out. If you need to, you could wrap these with a little bit of uh, cotton twine and then that way you could burn them once they dried. And so anyone who does ceremonies or keeps an altar, this would be just as pleasant to lie there as a donation and an offering to, and what this does is it just give, it gives your chakras in your upper respiratory area from your heart chest up and gives them cleansing, clearance. Yeah. Mm, a cleansing. So we want to keep those. So I'm going to lay those right there. Right. When that sun dries them, you could try smoldering and smudging them. The hen bit. We'll oh, just right. lay them there. That's hen bit.